Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Please know that everything said in this video is alleged and it's my very own personal opinion. So y'all, just like the other video that I did on Destiny, I don't have a whole lot to say about this situation either, but I did have something to say, so I'm here to say it. Now, we didn't saw Tisha get drenched by the murky waters of Kiki's drink. Tisha did not expect for her cousin to do that shit. You could tell that she was in shock. And I would have been in shock too, but I would have made my way around that table through the shock and beat the fuck out of Kiki. Okay. Cause Kiki was dead ass wrong. I have her back when she in the right, but I'm not condoning no bullshit cause she was wrong. Okay. Wanda seemed to think that Mel had something to do with that, you know, with Kiki throwing the drink in Tisha face and Wanda had got on live saying shit that she shouldn't have been saying, like calling Mel a hoe. Wanda was dead ass wrong for that shit. Okay. <laughs> Kiki is a grown ass woman, even if Mel would have been behind that shit. Okay. Kiki know right from wrong. Okay. And didn't have to go along with it. But in no way do I feel that Mel told Kiki to throw a drink or come to that barbecue and act a complete fucking donkey. Kiki was mad because her cousin wasn't talking to her. I get that it can be a hurtful thing. Her wanting to be close to her cousin, someone that she was once close to. And her feeling like, you know, there's been a wedge driven in between them by her cousin's bitch ass husband. Because he feel like she could disclose some things that could harm their marriage. And have Tisha pulling a male on his ass and have his ass out there in the wilderness struggling to survive like Martel. Okay? But you can't go around throwing alcohol in people's faces. Like, are you on Basketball Wives or Loving Mary Chansfield? When somebody want to ignore you, the best response is to ignore their asses back. If they don't give a fuck, show them that you don't give a fuck either. Now I have a fit and decide that you're going to throw cards and throw drinks and call them out their name. Kiki called Tisha stupid and ignorant, but that's exactly what could have been said about her because that shit that she did was just stupid and ignorant. Kiki got to, you know, learn how to deal with her cousin in a different way or just don't deal with it at all, especially if Marcel is going to remain in the picture. Because clearly he's an issue. Okay? We know how Marceau treat Tisha. And almost everybody who watched the show probably think that Marceau done cheated on her before. If he ain't doing it now. But Tisha done already made it very clear that she's not interested in any, you know, in anything anybody has to say unless they can produce receipts. So unless you have actual pictures and video footage of Jasmine or whoever else in the actual act with Marceau, Tisha not trying to hear you. And I don't blame her because who wants to hear that their husband, whom they've been with for damn near 20 years and have children with, is doing them dirty when they know that they've been a good wife to that, you know, that man. You know what I'm saying? And most importantly, loyal to him when you too could have went out there and done some things, okay? Tisha is a beautiful chick, educated, thicker than a snicker. There are men out there that would love to have her. Marceau knows this. And this is one of the reasons why he want her ass in the house. So she won't end up meeting another dude that fucks around and treat her better than him. Okay. The other reason is so that Tisha will be clueless to the shit that he's doing out there in them Huntsville streets or whatever, you know, or wherever else he be. Okay. I know that a lot of y'all don't like Tisha, but it's hard for me to go in on her. It's hard for me to go in on Tisha, even when she do things to get on my nerves. Okay, now put y'all weapons away because I'm about to say some shit and I know y'all ass is going to be trying to come for me, but I don't care because I'm not going to go alone just to make other folks happy. Okay, I think that Tisha deep down is a really sweet person. Okay, I don't think she's a terrible person. Put it like that. Y'all, I can identify an ain't shit ass person. That's exactly why I stay on Miss Potato Head's ass, but I don't get those vibes from Tisha. And when she get to acting jealous and envious or copycatish, I feel like it has a lot to do with her trash ass husband. I would be willing to bet that Tisha feels inadequate, okay? And gets envious of boss women like Mel, because that is probably what she's always desired to be. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think Tisha had plans to be a stay-at-home wife. That's why she went out there and got all those damn degrees. Who going to go to school for all them years just to sit in the house all day, cook and clean, do laundry, and deal with kids driving your ass nuts all day? Okay? <laughs> That's what Marceau wanted for her, though, which is why he had a problem with Mel showing Tisha that she could also be a boss, too. You know what I'm saying? A boss and a mom. He had the nerve to tell her that she was trying to do what was best for her instead of what was best for the family. 
um, I think that's what he told her in that clip from season one. That's what he was telling Tisha and had her ass crying. I feel like when Tisha sees Mel, she is looking at not uh, not someone, but something she wants to be, meaning a mom who is also out there doing a the damn thing in business. Someone people respect. I don't care what Marceau said because he was in his feelings about Mel not speaking at his event. Marceau looks at Mel with high regard. And Tisha knows that. Plus, Mel's a beautiful chick, too. Tisha wants her husband to look at her in that same way, and he don't, and that's sad, okay? Marceau knows that Tisha is beautiful, yes, but he does not respect her, especially as his wife. He puts her down, never supports her in shit she want to do. I don't believe that he's faithful, okay? Y'all, I know Ariane is a habitual liar, but she said that Martel don't even let Marceau get too close to her or hug her, I believe. And I think that's because Martel knows the kind of dude that Marceau is which is a nigga that is just like him, but apparently better at what he does if he doing it because ain't nobody been able to produce receipts of all these women that Marceau done allegedly mess with. Marceau has contributed to Tisha's possible low self-esteem, y'all, and feelings of envy, in my opinion, which is why it's hard for me to go in on her because I feel like Marceau is the cause of it. If Tisha was to get rid of Marceau, Tisha would elevate, in my opinion. Her confidence would increase you know, Marceau is holding Tisha back from reaching her full potential. So while Wanda is in her car on live calling Mel a hoe, when a hoe is the one that's holding her daughter back from greatness, she need to be instilling in Tisha that if it comes down to it and she has to walk away from Marceau, she will be okay. I don't like saying people need to divorce because marriage is supposed to be a forever thing. You know, that's why I'm hoping that Tisha gets enough strength to put her foot down and establish some boundaries, you know what I'm saying, within her marriage and demand respect and whatever the fuck else she need from her Benjamin Button ass husband, okay? And before some folks come through and start talking crazy in the comments, no, I am not friends with Tisha or Wanda. I ain't been paid or none of that. I don't even know them other than what I see on TV or on the gram or whatever. This is just me and my ability to empathize with a woman who I know is being controlled by a bitch ass nigga. Now, Kiki's addiction may have played a part in the issues that Kiki and Tisha have with one another, but Marceau, in my opinion, plays a part as well. Marceau wants folks to believe that Kiki is just his crackhead who is running around lying on him when the folks ain't about to believe that shit. Now, even though we may feel like Kiki ain't lying, that don't mean it's right for her to be sitting around on national TV talking about her cousin's husband fucking another bitch or two or three or four. That ain't going to mend things between her and Tisha. That's just going to make them worse. Okay? Just going to make them worse, rather. If that's what she was going to come on the show and do, she should have stayed off because it's not a good look at all. And I would be saying the same thing if Tisha was talking about Kiki and her marriage to I mean. The same way I don't like it when Tisha was talking about how, you know, she hoped Kiki ain't back on pills. Like, even if that is her hope for Kiki, why talk about that shit on national TV? That's your family. And she going to be your family, you know, once the show is over. I feel like Tisha and Kiki shouldn't be airing their issues out on TV. And I feel like Carlos is exploiting Kiki for ratings. He don't care about Kiki looking bad, not one bit, because if he did, he wouldn't have created an entire season centered around her and that damn Home Depot fiasco when her ass was never even arrested or convicted of anything. OK, but there you have Martel, who is hopefully on his way to jail for revenge, P, out here committing crimes. And none of that was to be heard of on the show until the reunion that is where you know he probably where that's that's where he probably mentioned it at okay because he wants the folks to tune in and watch the fucking reunion but getting back to kiki and tisha kiki has to find a better way to deal with her cousin throwing drinks ain't it and will probably get her ass whooped and i think she know that which is why she immediately got her ass up after she tossed that drink on tisha and strolled on over there to the other side of that damn yard to where her husband was what Tisha should have did was ran up behind her and tossed her ass onto that grill. Everybody would have been eating grilled kiki, okay? Or Jabbar kebabs, okay? Because what you not going to do is Evelyn Hosada me and walk away in the same condition that you came in. Now, I ain't saying kiki ain't got hands, but I think she knew Tisha had them too. That's what I'm saying. The energy that kiki had for Tisha is the energy that she should have gave Stormy instead of sitting there talking to her ass about Tisha's business. Because despite what she think, Stormy 
ain't her friend. Courtney revealed that his wide back ass wife has said that Kiki that she said that Kiki looked like dark winged up. Okay, that is what Courtney said. His wife said about Kiki that she looked like dark wing duck in that photo of what was allegedly supposed to be her in Home Depot. Now, Miss Potato Head is sitting there looking like a whole Miss fucking Potato Head, okay? Looking like Miss Potato Head identical twin and got the nerve to talk about somebody else. I bet you that's all her and her big belly ass husband do is sit in the bed and pillow talk about everybody else's business instead of theirs, which has been sued every time you fucking blink her big face ass over there looking like miss potato head and his fat ass over there looking like big red from the five heartbeats with his my office hours are from nine to five face ass them stills are something else y'all they are something else i tell you scammers from the fucking bama they need to be more focused on a possible class action lawsuit if the uh customers decide to pursue one and focus less on other folks okay but anyway, back to Kiki and Tisha. That was just crazy how Kiki just sat across from Tisha and started telling Stormy about the woman Marceau allegedly fucked. Like, girl, what are you doing? I guess that was her way of saying, well, I invited you to my place to talk, whatever, and you didn't show up, and now you're ignoring me. So now I'm going to go ahead on and tell your business, okay, right here at the barbecue. That was not the way to handle that. I think Kiki was mad and hurt and wanted to embarrass and humiliate Tisha by throwing cards at her and then that drink in her face. I'm like, girl, her husband humiliated her enough. Go sit your ass down somewhere until she ready to talk to your ass. And if that time never comes, so be it. Because it's not like you didn't try to reach out to her. But I can't blame Tisha for not wanting to talk to Kiki. I wouldn't say said shit to her ass either if she was on the show telling my fucking business. Family don't do that to one another. Nor do family talk about their family member's addiction. Kiki should know by now that no matter what she tell Tisha, Tisha ain't leaving her husband unless she ready to leave her husband. You know what I'm saying? That's all she's known since college. I just feel like Tisha need to be encouraged and uplifted instead of talked about and made fun of so she can get the strength and the courage to do what needs to be done. Even if that's not leaving Marceau, even if it's just putting her foot down and letting him know that, you know, he ain't going to be treating her like anything less than his wife okay i think the both of them kiki and tisha need to stop talking about one another's business i think tisha does that because marceau instructs her to because he wants to discredit kiki and like i said have folks thinking that she's lying about him when we don't believe that she is in this situation i just feel like everybody is wrong and if they gonna mend the relationship it needs to be off camera and before i go y'all i just want to mention one more thing Wanda said on her live that she can see what Marceau was talking about, how Mel just keep throwing shit and it don't be stick. It don't seem to be sticking. Wanda, Mel shit is sticking so good that you need to be taking notes and passing them on to your daughter. Marceau is the last person that you need to be siding with because we all know that that old face ass nigga ain't shit. And he treats your daughter like shit. He even treats you like shit. He wouldn't even help you with your truck, probably because he didn't have the means to. But still, the same way that he found the means to go to Africa is the same way he could have found the means to help you with your truck. Plus, he called you a daytime drunk on national TV. It was funny as shit, but inappropriate and disrespectful. And more importantly, if anybody's shit ain't sticking, it's your son-in-law's shit. And that's why he mad. Because the only thing that seems to be sticking for him right now is that $5 million lawsuit for fraud against his Tim from Sweetie Pie's built ass, okay? You know you was wrong, Wanda, for saying that shit that you said on live. You was just mad because Kiki blacked out and tried to drown Tisha. I would be mad too, but your anger was kind of misplaced. And that's all I have to say about this, y'all. Y'all take care, and I'll chat with y'all in the next one.